Oh, you just broke. Why you hit my stuff? Oh, my God. Well, tough shit. Go. Theme song. Welcome to When Wife Gives You Lemons. That was Joy. She's my special wife. People say I have the hands of a goddess. A goddess. And the farts of a wildebeest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You are a cunt. <laughs> wow, I was just playing. <laughs> Jesus, you just took that way too far. Who said, fuck you. Wow, again, you're just slamming. You said I had the farts of a wildebeest and you don't think you're a cunt? I'm sorry. I didn't say you fuck like one. I'd rather fuck like one than fart like one. They moo. They moo. They moo? Yeah. I know you have a nope, so let's just get your nope out of the way. <laughs> you gotta get my nope out of my nope. Yeah, and turn on the ring light. You should have had oh this my done God. already. Stop yelling at me, Joy. <laughs> You're this close to getting divorced. You don't even know where it is. It's not even my birthday. Or I could make it happen whenever you want. It's just the problem is that we, then we have a house and look at me. Look at we me. We can't afford this. Put up. We can't afford it. Look at me. Do you really want a divorce? Look at. I'm getting my nopes out. Hey, hey. I lost. A... Oh, that's a good one. Do you really want to divorce me? No, we're not divorcing. Knock it off. Then. St- Oh, stop it. You say that shit all the time. Don't act like it's you're this It's different princess. when I say it. Oh, no, it's not. I would be lost without you. Anyway, let's go. 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 Tell your nopes. John John's has. nopes. Do you have any or are they nope? So last week. Oh, he has nopes, guys. We're getting ready to go racing at Bakersfield. Yep. So all morning I was working and wrenching on stuff. We didn't have to leave till like one. In, in the morning, you know, early afternoon, I had Dougie out. He was running around. Dougie's our little beardy. Mm-hmm. You know, dogs are out. Everybody's running around. Everybody's running around the house, all everything. I'm out here. I'm doing stuff. I'm loading things. I'm pulling things back. I'm loading things. I'm pulling things back. I'm walking in and out of the house all day long. It's a couple hours. And then I come in. I all right, Brody, let's get going. And I was like, and I look over and I go, oh, fuck. Dougie's out. Oh, fuck. Back doors open, front doors open, been open for hours. Hours. I go, fuck. Like, I'm, I almost was like, I hug Brody. I go, oh my God, I am so sorry. I don't know what to do. And we looked and we looked. And Dougie was hiding behind the fan, right by the open door, hanging out. And then put him in his cage. And then he was back in. And I was like, holy shit. That was, I thought I lost Dougie. We would have never found him out there. Ever. No, I like Doug way better than the birds. I know. I didn't mean to. John. But we were just busy and I forgot he was out. Because he was hiding and he was hanging out. But man, I was like, holy shit. Like the door was open. And the fan is right literally at the door. And he was right here. Hiding behind, I was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't go." So that was my. <laughs> he runs like right, and he was cool. He was like, "Hey, put me back in my thing. It's hot. Or it's cold." And then, uh... okay, okay, okay. This one, this this nope is super funny. Oh, I hope it's not. <laughs> no, it is. So, so I'm in Bakersfield. Yep. I mean, I'm in Oildale. That's like, yeah. That's deep Bakersfield. That's like Madera to Fresno. Like, yeah, it's it's really shitty part, right? The where the racetrack is is like in a shitty part. This it's it's the area. I know. I've been to Oil though. I know, but I talked about it one time on the podcast where I was at the the Seven Eleven oh. and the music's playing. The guys like you, were, I thought I was buying the dub and getting oh. the twenty. Right? God dang it! My nose is itchy. Anyway, so. I'm driving down the road. Yep. And I, I'm looking, you know, you big billboards, right? And there's a billboard for a casino. Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock Casino. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So this is how you know if it's a ghetto-style casino. Because I'm driving by, and the sign, there's a picture of a dude standing on there, an older white dude. Just, you know, doesn't, not not like, you know, I don't know, a little, a little more on the lower end. Uh-huh. And it says, Greg. One fifty thousand at Eagle Casino. That's it. But the billboard just says Greg, one fifty thousand. It doesn't even say one. It says fifty thousand. It says Greg fifty thousand. And you're like, what the fuck? And then the very bottom, you see this little thing on the bottom. It's like Eagle Casino. And you're like, really? That like you guys, you guys are so low budget. Like you're like, just put the, just put his first name. Just put his first name. What? Don't even put what he won. Just put money on there. Just to, any sum. And then, you know, we'll just put our name at the bottom. I was like, holy shit, man. Like, okay, you go, Greg. But normally you you're go, like... Greg. Greg, we're proud you, of you, You know, Greg. you're normally like, you know, Greg from Fresno. Uh-huh. Did it do one for to do on blah, blah, blah. You right. know, and you're like, ooh, Eagle Casino sounds good. This one's just like, Greg, 50,000. Eagle, go. Come. Now. Try. Hurry. If you hurry, we'll throw in a dollar. <laughs> if you hurry, you might be able to meet Greg. Spending the rest of his 50,000. <laughs> that we already got back. <laughs> Greg paid for this. Greg paid for his own ad. Oh my god! <laughs> He's like, I want fifty grand. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a billboard. <laughs> I'm gonna get that billboard right in the middle of fucking oil bill. Good times. Great oldies. Ninety-nine point seven seven seven. Ninety-nine five. The whatever. Bear, I didn't go there. I, I know K Frog. That's not what a frog does. Did you know my dad is deathly afraid of frogs? I think you've told me that. I have told you that. Um, I think you told the world that. Ta-da. So that was one of my nopes. I, I had two nopes. No, I'm only going to give you two nopes today. Uh, a two nope day? Yep, I gave you double nopes. Um, you get double nopeinated. <laughs> I, I was with Brody, and we were talking about... Tyler, and how Tyler seems to have a a thing for the older ladies. He's like, I like them cougars. <laughs> Brody like them goes, wrinkly. well, Mom, <clears throat> he does have the body for a cougar magnet. <laughs> I go, what did you call him? And he's a like, cougar magnet? A cougar magnet. That's hilarious. And I laughed. We're going to get to see it. We're going to see it to get to see it happen around a bunch of old fucking crazy oh ladies. Oh, my God. October. They're all horny around I know. books. We're paying for his hotel room. Uh, Why am I beeping like every two seconds? I don't know. I don't know what you What's wrong to with do. your computer? I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. You update your stuff, lady. It's. What's your other note? I don't Do you have, have any notes? Many. I don't have very many because I'm really busy right now because I'm trying to get this new massage The new room. adventure? Yeah, I'm getting this new massage room open. And so I've been buying a shit ton of stuff off of Facebook Marketplace. You're going to have too much shit for that room. No, I'm done. I wanted the mirror. I wanted a place for people to set their stuff. And then I needed drapes. Like, I don't need anything else. And I got some of that stuff for fucking free. I don't. I'm not gonna. Oh, stop being so negative. I'm just saying you're, you're, you're gonna have some hoarder room. I don't like you. Anyway, on oh my God, what I don't know what you want me to do. What do you want me to do? Do I you want to switch headphones so I can? I hear just it? need you to stop that. It's Facebook. I don't know how to get my Facebook to stop connecting. Don't connect to Facebook. I don't know how to stop it. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> I almost started singing. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> anyway, um, on Friday, I did the most massages I've ever done in my life. I did ten and a half hours of labor on Friday. And it was insane. That's a long day. And then, but the cool thing was, so... The last guy, the wife calls, and she's like, listen, 
the uh, one of the girls that works there. So it's Beatrice is the owner of Spoilish, and there's Allie, and then there's me right now. Three girls. Allie's awesome. Beatrice is awesome. So anyways, Allie gives my phone number to a lady, and the lady calls me, and she's like, listen, my husband has sciatica right now. He's having a lot of trouble walking. Can you please fit him in? And I was like, how about 715? Like at night, and I'm all, that's the only time I can fit him in unless you want to go to a different day. And she's like, my husband says done. I'm like, cool. So I come out from one massage to put him in, and he's just an older Hispanic dude with, like, the flannel, like, the last name tattooed on his back. And I was like, oh, this dude's cool, right? So I get in, and we're massa- I'm massaging him, and he's super quiet. And I was like, okay, I'm like, fuck, I'm going to fall asleep because <laughs> he is... Ten, he's ten and a half. He's it. And so I'm massaging, massaging. Oh my god! I don't this know what to like do. This is like being waterboarded. Would it's never like happened ch- before. Would you there because I'm on a group chat right now? Ugh. I, well, tell him to fucking shut the fuck up. I don't know how to. Here, hold on. Let me see. If oh I my need. goodness! Because it's like it's like well, being waterboarded. Oh my god! It's I like mean... every thirty seconds, I'm getting binged in the ears, super okay. loud. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Well, it's a little annoying. Okay. Um. Mute. Um, mute messages. Yes. Until I change it. There. Okay. It's, you're muted. <laughs> I'm muted. <laughs> anyway, can I go now? <laughs> oh, I like you like this. Your tongue works and you don't make any noise. <laughs> anyway, so I'm massaging and my phone starts ringing. My phone is on silent. I don't know how this call is going through to the point where it's ringing. And I'm like, dude. So I cancel it. Rings again. I cancel it. Rings again. And I'm like, fuck, I have to answer this. So I answer it. And it's Caleb. And he goes, mom, I'm done with D&D. <laughs> and the guy, he starts kind of laughing. And I'm all, oh, my God. And I go, Caleb, I am at work right now. You need to call dad. I don't know dad's phone number. Mind you, Caleb broke his phone. So he, again, he was, he was by, he was using another, he's going to listen to this later. So like, be nice. So well, I can't say again. Cause he breaks his again. phone you every freaking two months. Want. You can say whatever you want. Anyway, I was like, Caleb, how do you not know dad's phone number? And he's like, I just know your number mom. So I go, okay, go get a pen. So he's walking through this random D&D house going, I need a pin. I need a pin. I need a pin. And I'm all, oh my God. I've got a person half relaxed on my table. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So then I'm like, okay, 661. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was too fast. That was three numbers. Hold on. <laughs> and you know I have, oh, my God. Wait, I want. You know I have a bad memory. I can't remember anything. Stop it. It's the victim mentality. Yeah. Anyways, I'm like, dude, so he finally, I had had to do two numbers at a time, and he had to repeat them back to me. So So I finally hang up with him, and I go, I am so sorry. And he goes, teenager? I'm all, yeah. He goes, how many? I "I have three boys. And he's like, me too. So he's, like, talking to me, and he's like, yeah, you know, they're kind of ass. Kind of. Yeah. And he goes, we were talking, and. He's like, and I said something about, like, we were talking about, like, them dating. And I was like, well, my oldest, you know, and I was just, you know, being funny. And I was like, well, my oldest likes the older woman. My middle likes the boys. And I go, and my youngest probably likes them both. And he started laughing. He's like, man, that youngest one's the crazy one. And I'm like, probably. And then we were talking, and he's like, how's like, how's it having a gay son? And, you know, and he's like, no, I'm really curious. And he was just a super cool dude. And then he was telling me that, he goes, how many massage? He's like, why are you here so late right now? And I go, I go, because I'm really getting this room. I want this room. I want to make this room something. And I go, I really would like to get out of the chiropractor's office that I'm working at. And he goes, Joy? I'm going to give you the advice my dad gave me. And I go, okay. And he goes, fuck it, jump. Don't quit your day job. And I'm all, but I'm scared. And he goes, fuck it, jump. And I'm all, but I'm scared. (laughs) And then 
He's like, and I told my kid the same thing, and his kid is part owner of that new place in Santa Clarita called Fun Burger. And I guess there's another one in Simi Valley. This is their second location. And he's like, fucking told him. He's like, fuck it, jump. And so he's like, my kid runs a restaurant now. And I was like, son of a bitch. So then he left, and I go, he's like, well, how many have you done today? And I go, I've done ten and a half hours. You know, I did Three ninety minutes, and then the other rest were hour long massages. And he's like, "I go, I did six and a half at the chiropractor, and I did four hours here." And he goes, "Next time, those ten hours are going to all be here, and you're going to make all the money." And I'm all, "Do you know how much money that would be if I did ten and a half hours here? <laughs> I'd make my month. I'd be like, okay, I'm done for the month. <laughs> Bye." All right. <laughs> But it was just, it was super cool. But anyway, so I get home, and I am fucking beat, like slaughtered, dead. And (laughs) I thought Sean was in the garage. And I was walking down the hallway, and my arms literally were not moving. I was walking like Elon Musk. I did not move my arms. And I was walking down the hallway. I go, this is how I walk now. I guess this is how I walk now. I walk like this now. And I turn the corner and fucking creeper in the dark kitchen. Creeper? I was in, I was in the... <laughs> the kitchen lights were turned off. And I was you're laughing just, at you, though. You're just standing in the kitchen and I'm all... I thought you were in the garage. And then you're like laughing at me and I'm all... I can't move my arms. <laughs> and then, I laughed. then I laughed at you and told you, bummer. Yeah. So sweet. Just... Bummer. Sweet. And then after the next day, I did ten and a half. The next day, I did seven. So fucking. And then you finally got a break after that. No, and then the next day, I did four. <laughs> and then I had a break. And then today, I did seven. So um, I really do. Tomorrow? No. Um, I really do need a break. And I have. I'm tired. Like this week, fucking. Yeah. This week annihilated me. It got me good. Um, And so the only other thing I have is, so I think I talked about this, about how Caleb, when I picked Caleb up because I was taking him to school because the bus was late because there was a fatality. Right. And he was driving and his friend was in the car. Right. And his friend was like, hey, what does this word mean? And Caleb like leaned over and he's like, let's do context clues. Right. And he was just ridiculously patient with his friend. And I was like, fuck. And the friend figured out what the word meant. And like, so later on, I was driving with him and I was like, Caleb, so I hate saying what I'm about to say because we're not going to get into this, but most teachers, not all teachers, but a majority of teachers do not have my respect whatsoever. Not all. I massage a bunch of teachers who are really good people. I know teachers who are really good people, but teachers are giving teachers really bad names right now. And um, so I was like, Caleb, I was like, have you ever thought about being a teacher? And he's like, Mom, I actually have. And I was like, because I fucking hate to say this. I go, but you'd really be good at it. I go, you'd be that weird teacher that, like, all the weird kids would come to. And I go, you would just be this, like, safe space teacher. And I guess the reason, because if you've noticed, he's, like, really into history lately. Like, mm-hmm. he even applied for AP history. Okay. And it's because he has a teacher at where he goes to school who, during lunch and brunch and stuff, leaves his door open. Right. And he has a wall full of board games, a wall full of books. And the little odd little monkeys can go in and... Like the little ducks that don't have anywhere to go, they right. go in and they they hang out there. They yeah. hang out there. And Usually, Caleb's all like, the schools have one of those. Caleb's like, I kind of want to be that teacher, mm-hmm. and I was like, Dude, you'd be really good. Like, I fr- I hate saying it, and I was like, Here's what you do, and I was telling him like, You get your AA. I go, Then you get your liberal arts degree, and then you take the teaching the teaching credentials. And I was like, <clears throat> He's like, I want to get a history degree. I'm like, No, just fuck it, get a liberal arts degree. That's all you need. So anyway. <laughs> Later on, fucking Brody, Brody's like, Mom, 
Caleb can't be a teacher. And I go, I think Caleb would be a really good teacher. He's like, until somebody says something, and they'd be like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, I can't do this. And I was like, Brody, fuck. And Brody, for like five minutes, was being the Ouch. biggest asshole in the world. And I'm trying to be mom and yeah. not laugh. And, but you wanted to laugh. I did, because he was like, oh, my God, I, I can't find your assignments. I don't know where your assignments are. You have a bad memory. <laughs> I was like, Brody, shut the fuck That's up. That's fucked up. That's brotherly love That's right there. That's brotherly love. And then he called Tyler a cougar magnet. That works. And that's it. Now you're all caught up in our life. That's that's about it, dude. I'm sorry, guys. I am, I'm beat. We're we're mellowed out tonight. Yeah, we haven't had sex in like a week. It's awful. Yeah. I, uh, although I did have a patient tell me she hasn't had sex with her husband in five years. Well, he's having sex somewhere. I don't think so. I don't want to get into this because this is her business, but son right. of a bitch, man. I don't think so. It sucks. Or it doesn't suck, I guess. I mean, is he weird looking? Is she weird looking? They all weirdly, are they weird people? No. No, we're not getting into it. I don't Fine. even, I should Fine. have said that. You said too, you said too much? My lick, clit, surprise. Like, 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 click, click. That was weird. I like stroked out. I couldn't stop saying that. Like, 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 yeah. like, 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 like. Have it's you like seen the chickens a, on the corner? It's like I had a glitch in the Matrix. Have you seen the chick? Okay, sh- but, but, have no. you seen the chickens on the corner? No. So you know where that wedding was on the corner? Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. I've seen them. There's over. a bunch of chickens, yeah. and I just want one. I saw all the sh- I saw all the goats out there eating the other day. I want the, the fuzzy mowers. I love the fuzzy mowers. Okay, lick, click, surprise. Like, click, subscribe, bitch. Email. Uh, when wife say something me. I don't know say do something. something say something do something entertain I mean, us right we entertain you sometimes did you, you just say we entertain you we entertain you sometimes we entertain you I thought you said we entertain you yeah we entertain that's like a new word that's what what's a we entertain <laughs> it's when we we do stuff and you watch us and it, you like it we we entertain you that didn't work. It did. It Fuck did you. not. Fuck you, Oildale. Get out of here. Why are you fucking Oildale? Because that's why the wiener Why are you being mean to Oildale? <laughs> I didn't mean to say... I was calling you Oildale. They're going to get upset. Greg's going to get pissed. <laughs> Greg and his $50,000 are going to be pissed. <laughs> it's just like that time I did that. Greg. Thing. That was it. Just... Greg. Greg. And, and the, there's no... Okay. And the billboard is just blue. It's literally. I'm telling you, Greg paid for it's that. It's blue. Greg's face up to about here, up to about here, uh-huh. and it says, "Greg." He's got glasses. He's got a cul-de-sac. Little older dude. Little chubby. Little mustache. I bet Greg's manifesting that. I bet that's not Greg. Even Greg. I'm fifty thousand. That's it. <laughs> All, right. All of a sudden, I want to go to the Plain Casino. I want to go to that blue billboard. Good day. Casino. Good day. Oh, okay, bye. Hey, no more words for you. Bye. Good day. Thanks for listening.